What's up people? So let's uh, apply this settings first. It's like 100 uh, megahertz on this one and 200 megahertz on um, on memories. And I'll let you know how, uh, how I end up with this uh, settings in the end because in um, Watchdog Legion, if you watched my uh, previous video, uh, with overclocking, I've managed to get uh, much better um, frequencies with this uh, with this GPU and slightly better performance as well. But <clears throat> let's uh, let's get into uh, details with this settings for Cyberpunk 2077. Okay, so let's see what we have here. So I'm gonna test like the three preset major presets in high-end uh, settings uh, you have dlss on balance performance and quality obviously i'm using footage from my previous video so i can show you a side-by-side -side comparison and as you can see the the performance gain is zero or close to zero or insignificant the problem is power draw which is absolutely insane and at least at this stage of the release of this title, uh, you are not really getting anything uh, anything in return. So uh, maybe uh, the game still needs a few patches, uh, but I don't know. Or the engine, something wrong with it. Uh, all sorts of problems with uh, with this game. I'm not gonna get into details. Uh, about this but anyway it needs something uh, because we've seen that in um, watchdog uh, legion uh, we went as high as 150 megahertz on uh, core clock and 250 on memories and i just want to remind you that i'm not using any kind of uh, custom cooling solution so it's just stock uh, stock fans everything is stock fans i don't have any water pumps in my system or nothing like that so in Watch Dogs Legion, the returns were much better than this. Uh, I wouldn't recommend not even for that one, although we had like a 5-7% uh, performance increase. Uh, it's just not worth it because of this insane uh, power draw. Yeah, if you want to like break your own uh, records in 3D Mark, Overclock is uh, justifiable. But uh, in regular gaming, not really. Uh, oh yeah, I said that I'm gonna tell you how I end up with this settings. So I've tried, uh, you know, to increase the first the memories and, uh, and then the GPU uh, core clock, and uh, in the end I've ended up with uh, with this ones uh, because the game is uh, crashing, uh, at least for me, uh, it's crashing when um, I'm going over 120 megahertz. Um, or at least if it's not crushing uh, in the first five minutes, let's say if you play like this 20, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, definitely it will crush at one point. So it's, I've tried to use the settings that are stable for longer periods of time and, uh, and I end up with, uh, with this ones, 100 on uh, GPU core clock and 200 on the memories. So I'm sure you already noticed that I have a few things, uh, new things in my uh, monitoring overlay uh, and I've added the GPU VRAM temperature because especially when you do overclock I'm pretty sure that you guys want to see uh, those temps as well. Plus I've added the SSD uh, temperature because this is the SSD that I have all my games installed on so I'm playing from that SSD and if you think that that number is kind of funny like unreal uh, I will leave a um, link in the description below and you will see what I bought for like 10 pounds from Amazon and that thing is is capable of keeping that temperature so low because I used to hit like 59 Celsius and after applying uh, that thing and uh, you know taking the SSD from the motherboard and place it in an M.2 card uh, the temperature went that low and it's gonna stay like this probably I don't know probably it's gonna go on max max 42 but it usually stays low at, at uh, 41 so that was a great uh, investment for the health of uh, my SSD, which is very, very important in, uh, in this uh, setup. 
Well, um, probably this will be my uh, my final video uh, for this, my last video for this year. And I would like to thank you all for sticking around and uh, giving support to this channel. And it's quite amazing that uh, in my first year I managed to get like 400 subscribers. But what I'm impressed uh, more is the number of views that uh, we are getting uh, and this day by day is getting I think is getting better and that gives me hope and uh, all of this uh, was possible um, because you stick around and uh, it's your accomplishment as well not only mine I'm just you know bringing stuff to you guys and um, you know, you decide if it's worth something uh, or something or not. So this is it. Thank you all for being here. And um, let's hope for a better, uh, better year next one. And stay safe because it's not over yet. And as usual, see you in the next one. Take care. Happy New Year.